Outfit of the day is a Zara frock that you saw on a beautiful young girl on the website and it reminded you of when you were 18 and the style and the type and the beachiness and the relaxed nature of it and you just thought, oh golly, I have to own that. Can I get away with it? And it arrives and you think, oh, I don't know if I can do this. So you know what, as I've said before, we need to make clothes work for us, not the other way around. So I wore this out this morning. The dress is a really soft sort of jersey-like fabric. It's got a chocolate mark on it, uh, which reveals nothing about me. <laughs> and, and it really is the most beautiful color. It almost has a pinkish cast to it, but it's just sort of a neutral ecru color. It's just a fascinating color, I love it. I love the drape of it, I love the length of it. What I'm gonna do is show you underneath. So here it is without the jacket over the top. You can see it almost has a bit of a Grecian feel to it with this beautiful deep V at the front. The fabric is just sensational. And also at the back, it has that lovely drape. Love the drape of the skirt. And it also has this sort of, I don't know, I guess it's like a ruffle. Gives an empire line, but because the ruffle sits at a good spot on me, I can belt it underneath the ruffle and it looks really good. The only thing with this dress, this is an M, I should have got an S, anything oversized on Zara, you've got to go two sizes smaller, you know, but see how big it is up the top here. It's meant to be loose and drapey, it's meant to be worn with nothing under it, you know what I mean, it's that type of dress, but I really do love a long sleeve underneath and I'm going to try shirts and things as well, and I do love it as a layering piece, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous shape for that. But yeah, it's kind of big here and what I might try doing is actually taking a little bit of the fabric out. I'm sure I can just run a seam along and then uh, overlock it. I think it will work fine, but I have to keep pulling it down in order for these to not fall off my shoulder. And I don't want this any lower because the ruffle is going to hit my waist and it won't look as good. So having those tiny little adjustments, adjustments made, whether we do it ourselves or outsource it, I think is really wise when we fall in love with the dress. So what I did with this particular outfit is I wanted to take it more structured. I am going to play around with other looser types of fabrics and coats and things as well. But I wanted this more structured and so I have a very structured t-shirt, just long sleeve, plain, nice and soft, structured, not belt, and boots. Also, I've added, just for a little bit more texture and to give a softer feel to all of this structure, I've added this divine necklace from Kenneth Cole. And as ever with statement necklaces, I've just put a little tiny stud. I'm not going crazy with the earrings. So you can see how it's falling off the shoulder. So you'll notice that I did add a really relaxed slouchy bag with the dress and then I had the structured jacket. So it's a nice juxtaposition to put a structured piece with a more soft and relaxed piece and just try them out. I did put a really structured bag with this when I had the jacket on. I had like an Oriton crossbody but it was a very firm shape. And it looked okay, but it just wasn't working. I needed something a little bigger and I needed something softer. So it's just a matter, I guess, of playing around and trying different shapes and textures and seeing what you can come up with and getting that lovely balance, you know? So let me try something else with this. For this look, I'm going a lot more relaxed and casual. I haven't belted it and I've just put a beautiful denim jacket over the top, a large bag and this sensational bronzy platform shoe. So here what I've done is I've got nothing on underneath the dress. So naturally it's a bit of a plunger. So instead of having to put a top on underneath, I've simply added a scarf just to cover up that area. You can see how low it is, you know. So having it like this, you could even anchor it in there if you didn't want it to flutter around. You could wear a much more attractive bra, of course, something more lacy, a camisole, which I'm gonna try. And because this is more sort of a fluid, relaxed look, of course, I've pushed up the sleeves. I think when I dress, personally, I always look at the proportions and the balance. So you can see here, if I had the sleeves down, it would start to look a bit drawing down daggy. See, it just doesn't have as much shape as if I pull these up and this Karen Millen 
denim jacket is superb because it's stretch and you don't need to fold you can just pull up and it will stay so see how it adds a little bit more shape you know uh, and yeah I kind of like this look and I like that I can wear it without anything underneath and not have to worry about flashing the other thing you could do of course is wear a tangle of necklaces to hide things so here I've just added these fabulous new pieces I've got from Big W and how gorgeous are they absolutely stunning 12 bucks each uh, and a little bit of safety pinning goes a long way so I actually really like the line of this when it's pinned and when it has necklaces over the top and what I love about this Grecian style top is that it makes the waist look smaller it's just it's like shoulder pads really only it's on your torso you know so yeah a tangle of necklaces or a striking brooch this is just superb on this dress because it's so simple and plain and no pattern or texture. Having something as luscious and dramatic as that is just divine. Of course, it would look great up here and two of them on the shoulder would be incredible as diamante epaulettes, you know. Of course, a neckline like this, we're always trying to close. Maybe we can just pull that sucker open and show off our graphic tee underneath for a much more relaxed, cool look. Crossbody bagging it, bit of texture, a little bit of patterning because it's just such a clean look and a relaxed sandal. And do you know what? No problems with the bra at the back. <laughs> Gotta love that. Oh, and for a little bit of contrast, I think denim over the top of this would look kind of cool. You know, you could even put the denim jacket on and belt it in. You've got to play around with these things. Now, there is, of course, the current trend of wearing lingerie under items so that we can see it quite easily. And in this case, we could not have the more perfect opening in this dress to showcase a gorgeous cami. This is beautiful. It's just a little one from H&M. And I've added pops of gold to really bring out a shimmery feel for evening. I didn't want to go for a gold sandal because I just think it would start to get a bit too matchy matchy and too much. So a simple gold hoop and a simple beautiful little necklace that does have glimmer on the other side. If I wanted to have a sequin look I could just turn it around. But it just draws the eye down the front here to this beautiful lace. And the faux fur over the top gives a real sort of 1930s boudoir feel, you know. It's just gorgeous and it's such a comfortable thing to wear. And then at the back, you can see this fabulous cami. Check out that detail. Isn't that just sensational? I love this. When we go glamour, we might as well go all out. This is such a classic lined dress. There is barely any texture. It's a classic shape. We can afford to add some texture, like this exquisite silk bolero. Check out the ruffles on this baby. And what I love the most about this bolero is because the dress is so plunging, I need to pin it, we can see here at the side, see how you can see the bra there and also at the back, you can see my bra. So if you do love to wear a bra as I do, and a good one, then you can certainly cover up all ills with a bolero like this. I'm loving that because this dress doesn't have much, much texture, adding these textural elements really lift it and make it so chic. You know, it's just a beautiful tonal look and then the pops of textured silver. So here we have earring, bag, cuff and shoes that have a similar sort of textured silvery feel. And I actually like the contrast against these warmer tones. Love it. Gold, of course, would look sensational. And the belt, I've deliberately kept it streamlined and thin. Because this ruffle is so spectacular, I don't want to take away from it, you know? And I think a diamante belt would just be too much. I love the sleek nature of it and a little bit of glimmer at the waist. So there you go, a bit of a glamour look. And uh, yeah, maybe one more. Okay, I know, I know, I am totally channeling the 80s here. <laughs> I'm having a massive 80s flashback. I just wanted to try the dress with a pale pink Lurex because I just, can you see the pink cast in that? Can you see it in the fabric? It's the weirdest color. And then I played around with a few different jackets. A beautiful tan leather jacket did look nice over the top of this for a bit of contrast. But I kind of like this pale blue H&M blazer. 
It, again, it's just that real 80s feel, even the necklaces, you know, and these ankle boots, of course, or should I say early 90s. But, yeah, just loving the, I don't know, the pastel overload. I think actually this would look fantastic with a pair of beautiful tan boots as well and just a little bit of texture at the neck, a vintage belt. So, look, <laughs> I have lots of experimentation to do with this dress. It can be a little tricky to style, but as you can see, it can really be charming. We just have to play with our wardrobe, you know, and find these little treasures along the way, these treasure combinations. All right, I hope you're having a wonderful week, girls, and I will be back soon with more. Mwah.